Darren Levine here at Media Halo. We're gonna take a look at this leveling bowl base. So what this does is it adds a bowl style leveling base to a non-bowl tripod, typically a photo-centric tripod. So as video people, we really want to have a typical video tripod for numerous reasons, one of which is this quick, easy, controlled way of getting your whole head level. But a lot of times, these lighter weight photo tripods really come in handy. I love this Benro Fold Flat for anything like backpacking or stuff where I would like a tripod, but typical full-size tripods like this are just not feasible or for any type of work where maybe I have some a locked off shot or otherwise can make use of something lighter weight versus the full size. But one of the main drawbacks is that to level them out, you have to do the whole loosen up leg adjustment, which is, as any of you have done that know, it's kind of a pain. So I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. These are not new types of devices. Uh, Manfrotto makes one, and there's one also by, I think, Sunway Photo, but they're both in the hundred plus dollar range. And when I saw this one, it was under $50, grabbed it up right away because I wanted to add it. Now, these tripods, a lot of them cost not much more than $100, in some cases less than $100. That's why I was justifying that if I'm going to buy a $100 fix, so to speak, I might as well just get one of those other newer Benro tripods that have these built in. I think there's a couple of those for under $200, so it's one of those give and takes and see what works for you. Anyways, you have the standard 3 8 inch bolts port on the bottom, you screw it in just as normal, and one of the things you're going to run into right away is this knob can start to hit the bottom. Uh, one quick thing you can do is add a, uh, a spacer, which will take care of that, but that's going to add more heights, adding more bits and pieces. Don't prefer to do that. Uh, in my case right here, I just got to turn this, get a little bit more tight, and I can just barely get it to not hit. So that works for this particular uh, tripods or legs, I should say. But of course they give you the quick little adjustment that you can pop it out so you can easily get around such an obstruction. One quick little thing I did note was that the little uh, spring to hold that and allow you to do that adjustment is a little bit loose and uh, not very solid feeling, but I guess they just use a thinner spring in there. In practice, it makes zero difference. I'm just mentioning that because it's a little bit uh, loosey-goosey. Other than that, actually, aside from the rubber and the bubble level, everything is completely metal. Can't find any plastic anywhere on it, which is nice. Feels completely solid, like it. Now, the action for loosening it up, it goes all the way one way. Let's see if I'm doing the right direction. Yep, that's the right direction. So it's very fluid feeling actually when you loosen it up. It is not nearly as loose as if you loosen up a regular bowl head. And I can understand why you don't have this great big handle to control your rig. So you gotta be a little more careful, especially if you're using a bigger rig, although I imagine this can be used for smaller rigs. Uh, one little note about the loosening up mechanism. When you go to loosen it up, it could feel pretty uh, tight. So if it's already in tight position, when you, when you loosen it up, it might take a little bit of a push just to you know, jiggle it into uh, its loose mode. Uh, it sticks just a tiny bit. And you might run into an issue if you try and loosen it up completely. If you go all the way to the loose end, you'll notice it's still a little tight. So when you turn the knob all the way to loose, back it off a quarter turn and it'll completely loosen up no problem. So it's just that very end where it gets snug again in the loose position that you want to back it off of. And once you tighten it up, it's completely solid, feels great. One thing I was wondering why they went for is the quarter inch bolt instead of a 3 8 inch. I guess maybe they figured, well, if we put a quarter inch, it's more easily adaptable to more things. But I can't think of any fluid head I've ever come across that's actually had a quarter inch tap. So I don't know what they were really thinking there, but it's fine. They actually include a little uh, nut adapter to go to 3 8 so not really a big deal at all. should also note, obviously, they do have the, the bubble level here, which I'm not entirely happy with. It doesn't stick out enough to really be able to get a good look at it from beneath a tripod head, and I think the air bubble is just a little bit too small. It's hard to get a really awesome reading on it. 
but it's always best to really use your tripod heads built in bubble. That's going to be more ideal. You also get three uh, screws you can get to secure the head so it doesn't come loose. Haven't even tried that yet because it stayed perfectly good. I guess because of this nice hard rubber here. Hard, softish rubber. Also the model I should say is the LB60, but I'll link it anyways. So let's just get this thrown on here. Obviously you want to lock this up. It's hard to <laughs> figure out which direction it's supposed to be going. Is that the right direction? Nope, not the right direction. So all the way to that way. Obviously lock the pan. Get this tripod a little farther out of the way. Get her a little bit snug. Excuse me. Now, one of the things you want to do right away, if you are going to have to rely on that bubble, say your head doesn't have a bubble for some reason, loosen up your pan, loosen up the leveling base, and then you can rotate that into as an ideal position as you can. In this size head's case, which is not that big of a head to begin with, there's really no way to get a nice clear down look at it. So, thankfully this head has a proper leveling uh, bubble on it. So, locked in, this thing feels great and pretty much, you know, simulates what this is doing. But again, this versus this, as you can see, not a huge deal of a difference, but a difference nonetheless. So it's going to always come down to what makes sense for your situation. I really do like having these smaller tripods around, so it really saves the back and can still allow you to have at least some sort of tripod stabilization with you when you want it. So that's really it for this. It really feels nice, aside from the, on that dinky little uh, spring that's in there. But I bought it on Amazon as the newer brand, or newer pro, and it was annoyingly grouped with a bunch of other Amazon products on the same Amazon page. So that also groups reviews and everything, which is really annoying. It should be on its own separate page. But I will link you and specify that in the description as always. I'm Darren Levine, this is MediaHale.com, and this is the newer and other various brands probably leveling base.